ለመማር ወደ ትምህርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የጠበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምህርታችሁ መከታተል ትችላላችሁ ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ ኢኒሲቲዩት ኦፍ ኮመርሻል ማኔጅመንት አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምህርቶችን ተከታተላችሁ በስድስት ወር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ልምድ ባላችሁ መምራን እየተማራ ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁት አይነት በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ ከናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ዌልকাম एवरीवन ፎር ቱዴይ ክላስ so uh, in the previous class we have discussed almost all concepts related with uh, this course so for today uh, actually we will start the first chapter uh, introduction to emerging technology so uh, the main objective actually at the end of uh, this chapter the student will be able to develop a new knowledge related with uh, IE or industrial evolution actually you have uh, four different industrial industrial uh, evolutions also we will discuss or identify technological advances that made in different industrial revolutions actually we will see different uh, technologies introduced in different uh, uh, this uh, industrial revolution okay and also analyze the change uh, change conditions creating by industrial revolution in both uh, europe and us or united states also in order to understand the causes of industrial revolution for uh, different countries okay and also as the end of this course student uh, be able to describe a technological innovation that encourages industrialization different innovations actually or we see innovations and inventions uh, in different era also identify and understand what mean by programmable device actually uh, including the computer or including the mobile phone and so on that means computer is a programmable device but we will discuss what is a programmable device in general in this course or in this chapter also we will discuss about uh, human computer interaction so the student at the end of this course will be able to uh, understand concepts related with uh, human computer interface or human computer interaction why we need uh, this human computer interaction i i think you, you remember the concept about uh, computer human interaction why we need uh, this interaction between human and computer actually uh, as we discussed in the previous class computer is a machine which understand uh, only machine language whereas human understand this uh, human language so we need what interaction between these two different objects so at the end of this course we will see why 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 we need uh, this interaction between uh, computer or any any electronic device with uh, uh, user or human being also we will uh, at the end of this one develop general knowledge about what mean by emerging technology okay what mean by emerging technology so we will discuss uh, emerging technology in this chapter so what is emerging technology in general actually emerging technology is a term generally used for any technology or or create uh, actually a technology uh, created before and adding some some feature on existing existing uh, technology so this emerging technology include both uh, invention invention that means uh, a new technology as well as innovation innovation that means adding some feature on existing uh, on existing technologies okay that means emerging technology is ether related with a new technology as well as uh, uh, 
continuing development of existing technology. That means by adding additional feature or by improving existing uh, uh, technologies, we call it emerging technology. So it can have actually a slightly different meaning on different fields like uh, in media, business, science, education, and so on. But the general term for uh, uh, each or every uh, field of study, emerging technology means a new technology which are relevant for a specific field of study or uh, continuing development of existing existing uh, technologies called emerging technology okay so that are con commonly referred to technologies that are uh, currently developing on uh, the on the expected to be available within the next few years actually between five to ten years so we can consider a new technology or create a technology by adding additional feature or future future technology it can be considered as emerging technologies okay so usually referred for a technology that are uh, creating or are expected to create significant social or, and economical effects okay it creates a significant uh, change for uh, people in the future okay we call it emerging technology so what mean by technological evolution actually technological uh, evolution means a theory of uh, radical transformation of society through technological development that means a combination of two words uh, technology and uh, evolution evolution so it is a theory of uh, radical transformation of society through what through different technology technological uh, developments which are relevant for different purposes so when we see this uh, technological uh, evolution we have two words from different language technology from greek and uh, actually uh, evolution from uh, latin okay so technology means discourse or uh, uh, on an art or artist it is a discourse okay actually it is from uh, greek or originally referring to a grammar from techno and logic the meaning of science of art science of mechanical and industrial arts actually it is first recorded in 1859 59 that means meaning of this technology in greek uh, word science of uh, mechanical and industry industrial arts okay so this one is a definition of technology and the second one is uh, evolution evolution means the process of uh, developing by gradual change actually this one is from uh, latin word so it means uh, developing something or for example developing a technology by uh, gradual change and so on. so uh, this technological evolution is a combination of both technology and evolution evolution so here we will discuss some uh, current available emerging technologies which change uh, lives of uh, human beings okay the first one actually we have discussed almost this concept is in the previous class but here this uh, this one is also uh, some some list of uh, available emerging technologies the first one is called ai or artificial intelligence artificial intelligence means uh, creating some intelligence or thinking ability for a machine okay for example it is applicable in different in different uh, areas for example in teaching uh in reading for news and so on and so on actually for example we can consider robots and so on so artificial intelligence is uh, emerging technology which are currently available on different different fields even uh, on my com computer on my uh, mobile phone and so on and so on. for example uh, this one is applicable for uh, human language recognition. 
human language recognition. That means a given computer may recognize voice of user by recognizing or by processing different uh, human language like Amharic and English. Okay, so this artificial intelligence is a science or uh, some some part of computer science, which means creating a thinking ability of uh, a machine or increasing a thinking ability of a machine by, for example, by human language processing, by uh, machine learning. That means machine learning means a computer may learn from different, from environment, from different uh, sources, okay? So the first, the first uh, emerging technology which are available now is artificial intelligence. Also, this artificial intelligence may be applicable for education purpose. It may use some, some uh, software may use as a teacher or a course assistant, okay, by this application or artificial intelligence. Or it may be used for a uh, uh, tour guide. That means some machine may use as a tour guide by this uh, artificial intelligence emerging technology uh, source, okay? So the first, the first important uh, emerging technology which are available currently is AI or artificial intelligence. The second one is also uh, blockchain. Actually, blockchain is related with uh, finance or it is simply related with uh, cryptocurrency. I think you know about print, uh, cryptocurrency. That means it is a, a, digital, a digital coin, okay? So in order to apply different or in order to use different uh, digital currency, we, we, need, we need to know about uh, blockchain. That means uh, interconnecting different parts of uh, uh, or different computers for different purposes. Okay, but but mainly mainly this blockchain is uh, applicable for cryptocurrency. Please read about uh, cryptocurrency. It is very important in order to do some business online. Okay, so uh, like Bitcoin and so on. Actually, there are different types of coins. For example, currently a single a single uh, or uh, one Bitcoin may be uh, changed into uh, thousands of dollars. Okay, so you can you can get this uh, Bitcoin or uh, cryptocurrency by by uh, doing different online tasks, online tasks, even even uh, by taking different uh, images on a CT and uploading on different sites like uh, Google Map and so on. Okay, so this blockchain is uh, a very very important important emerging technology which is currently available for for what purpose? For cryptocurrency purpose. Okay, you can read about if you need uh, you can read about cryptocurrency like uh, Bitcoin and so on. And so on. Okay. So the second one is blockchain. The other one, the other one is augmented relay or virtual uh, reality. Okay. Virtual reality. What do you mean by virtual reality? Actually, virtual reality means creating creating the digital form of real world, like a simulation. Okay. A simulation. Actually, this one is mainly mainly applicable for what purpose? For, for example, for uh, tourism purpose, okay? Tourism purpose. You can create a virtual view of different uh, 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 industrial, uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, you can create uh, virtual view for different uh, for different for example historical uh, areas and so on. for uh, so in general in general augmented reality or virtual reality reality means creating a virtual view like a simulation or for different different uh, real world uh, parties or real world uh, areas, okay. So mainly used for uh, like tourism and so on. 
for example, by creating uh, augmented reality or virtual view for historical area of in Ethiopia, for example. So this one is also this one is also a very important emerging technology which are available currently. Okay. Also, uh, it it may be applicable for education purpose. Okay, education purpose. For example, for to demonstrate different practical practical part. Okay. So this one is our uh, augmented or virtual virtual reality is also current emerging technologies applicable for different purposes. And the other one is uh, cloud computing. Cloud computing is relevant for what purpose? For storing data on a cloud, okay? On a cloud. Because nowadays, uh, nowadays uh, users need of users for storing the data is increased so in order to solve this this uh, shortage of storage there is a concept called cloud computing that means storing the data on a cloud storing the data on a cloud so in order to store very large data you can use uh, cloud computing in order to solve the storage storage uh, problem okay or storage uh, problem of a computer. Also, you can use uh, Angular and React, DevOps, and so on. Also, you can see some uh, practical examples of this uh, emerging technology on YouTube. Okay, so you can see on uh, different videos on YouTube in order to demonstrate different emerging technologies and application area of different emerging technologies. And also, you can you can uh, see this one, Internet of Thing or IoT. IoT actually, IoT means interconnecting different smart things. Actually, it needs uh, interconnection between devices. We call it a network in general. Network. Network means interconnecting of or interconnection between two or more computers for what purpose? For uh, data sharing the purpose. Okay. The main purpose of computer networking, even uh, including internet, is in order to share, in order to share uh, resource like data and so on, and so on. So, IoT means interconnecting different smart things which are integrated on different different uh, objects. It may be even uh, on computer, on mobile phone, on a vehicle, or on a car, and so on, for different purposes. So interconnecting all these smart things using computer network, we can create IoT or Internet of Things. That means almost all, all objects on, on the world interconnecting using computer network. For example, by putting some smart object uh, on, on a vehicle, we can control uh, different vehicles uh, online or remotely. remotely. So, IoT means IoT means interconnecting almost all objects by using what? By using computer network. So when we define computer network, interconnection between two or more computers using what? Using computer network. For example, uh, it may be wired or wireless. Actually, there are different types of uh, computer uh, network by uh, considering, for example, the scope and so on, and so on. For example, by, by considering uh, a scope or a geographical area coverage of a computer network, there are three types of computer network. The first one, LAN, local area network, local area network, which means interconnection between computers within what? Within short or small geographical area, geographical area. For example, up to uh, uh, one kilometer radius. For example, interconnecting computers which are found on a single office can be considered as a network. What type of network? Local area network or LAN. So there are also uh, advantages and disadvantages of different types of uh, computer network. The second one, for example, we can consider uh, metropolitan area network or MAN. MAN means a type of computer network which can cover larger geographical area. 
uh, when we consider with or compare with uh, local area network. For example, let us assume we have uh, a number of uh, branches of this, co the, this college, different branches of this college, which are found in Addis in different locations. So it is not possible interconnecting different branches of this college using local area network because the local area network can cover uh, a small, a small geographical area up to, for example, uh, one kilometer radius. So we need what? We need a metropolitan area network. Actually, metropolitan means city. So metropolitan area network means a type of network which can cover or which can interconnect with a computer which are found within a single city, a single city. Mainly used for what? For what purpose? Interconnecting branches of a single organization which are found within a single city, a single city. So the second, the second one is metropolitan area network. And the last one or the third one is called MAN or, uh, sorry, one wide area network, yes? Wide area network means a type of computer network which can cover a very large uh, geographical area. For example, let us assume we need to interconnect uh, a branch of a single organization which are found in different city, in different city. For example, in Addis, in Barta, in Awasa, and so on. So we need what? We need wide area network. Actually, wide area network also uh, uh, include internet. Internet is a type of network, which means interconnecting computers which are found worldwide, worldwide. So when we consider uh, geographical area uh, coverage, coverage, okay. Uh, when we consider geographical area coverage, we can classify computer network into three. The first one is LAN, local area network, the second one is MAN, Metropolitan Area Network, and the third one, one or wide area network. So for applying IoT or Internet of Things, mostly uh, used what? Wide area network, for example, internet. internet. So this IoT is also uh, emerging technology, which are applicable for different purposes, for security purposes, for uh, automated vehicle purpose and so on and so on. And also uh, uh, intelligent apps, intelligent apps or intelligent applications applicable for different purposes like for medicine, for uh, cooking a guide and so on and so on. Or which provides different uh, functionality for user. Actually, uh, mostly this one is for a specific purpose application. And the other one is also uh, big data processing or big data management. Actually, nowadays, the data is everything. So big data management is also emerging technology. Actually, uh, as we discussed before or uh, in the previous class, big data means a very large data. It is not possible to process by using a single personal computer, single personal computer. But we need this big data to, to extract different relevant information in order to support uh, decision making of user. Okay, so this one is also emerging technology. The other one is uh, robotic process automation, robot, robot for different purposes. So all these are some some list of uh, currently available emerging technologies. But you can read you can read additional emerging technologies which are relevant for your field of study, okay? You can read more uh, relevant uh, emerging technologies which are uh, available today, which is very relevant for your field of study. So the other concept for today's class is actually, we will discuss different industrial revolution or IR. IR. So, the industrial uh, revolution was a period of major industrialization and innovation that took place during the late 70s and early 80s. 80s, okay? So, uh, 
uh, starting late uh, 70s and early uh, 80s, we call it industrial revolution. Actually, we have uh, four different industrial revolutions. Industrial revolution one, two, three, and four. So, industrial revolution at this uh, core occur when a society shifts from using a tool to using different source of energies like coal, power machine, and so on. Actually, it uses also uh, the steam power and so on. So the main, the main change of this industrial revolution is source of what? Source of uh, energy by using the tool. Firstly, by using the tool that after uh, industrial revolution, is, uh, source of uh, energies are changed into, for example, uh, coal, electrical, uh, electricity, and so on, and so on. So, this one is called uh, revolution or industrial revolution. Actually, this industrial uh, revolution started in England with a series of innovation to make a lever more effective and productive. So why we need this one or in this innovation or industrial uh, revolution in order to in order to make levels or human levels to uh, uh, more effective and productive or by by increasing productivity okay by increasing productivity or in order to increase productivity this one is actually introduced in England okay so the industrial revolution or higher was a time when the manufacturing of goods moved from small into large factory or large scale large scale okay so the main change of industrial revolution is uh, manufacturing of goods from a small size into large size, larger size, okay, or large uh, factory. So this shift uh, about the changing in crucial people moved from rural to big cities for uh, or in order to get uh, work and so on, and so on. So. Uh, the, the second one is second industrial revolution. Actually, it is introduced in uh, US or in America or the American industrial revolution, commonly commonly referred to as a second industrial revolution, start third sometimes between 1820 to uh, 1870s. Okay, so the impact of changing the way items were manufactured. Uh, for uh, it increases uh, also productivity of manufacturing. Okay, for example, textile manufacturing we can consider textile manufacturing like and mining, glass making, agriculture, and so on. All these are uh, innovated or had some innovation on uh, second industrial revolution. From, uh, for example, uh, prior to the industrial revolution, textile were primarily made of wool and were hand spoons. But after, after that, uh, or after first first industrial revolution, from the first industrial revolution, uh, mechanization through water and the steam power. That means it uses the steam power as uh, a source of source of energy. To, and also changes to mass production and also assembly of lines, for example, uh, using electricity and so on. All these are innovations related with second uh, industrial re, uh, revolution. Okay. And uh, the, other, the other one, the fourth industrial revolution, uh, actually mainly focusing on focused on uh, adoption of uh, for adoption of different uh, innovative ideas like computer automation and so on. That means adding a new feature on different innovations which are innovated from, from uh, or on a third, third uh, industrial revolution. So the fourth one mainly focused, focused on uh, adding additional features. Generally, the following industrial revolution fundamentals changed and transferred the world around us into modern societies. The first one is uh, a steam engine, a steam engine for different purposes, the railway and so on, railway and so on. And also uh, the age of science and mass production, that means changed into mass production from small production to mass production 
and also the rise of digital technologies actually uh, from analog analog technology into digital technologies and also a smart and autonomous systems like autonomous vehicle and so on autonomous means an object which can perform different functionalities without the help of human being so all these are uh, some uh, innovations which are innovated in different industrial uh, revolution so the most important innovations of the industrial revolution by considering different areas for example by considering transportation in transportation there are different uh, innovations the first one is uh, a steam engine for different purposes for example a steam engine railway railroad designing the roads diesel engines for different uh, mechanical motors airplanes and so on. all these are uh, innovations related with industrial revolution that means uh, starting from first industrial revolution to the fourth one the fourth one and the second one different innovations related with communication like telegraph uh, the telephone or uh, te telecommunication by using different uh, mechanisms and uh, even uh, up to telephone so also there are different innovations related with uh, communication area and the last one also by uh, industry industry layer for example cotton gun sewing machine electrical light and so on are also introduced in this era or industrial revolution eight okay so here uh, we will discuss different uh, historical background historical uh, background of uh, industrial revolution one two and three so the industrial revolution began in great britain or england late 1770 before spreading to the rest of europe the first european countries to be uh, industrialized after england were belgium france and so on actually this one is a historical background of uh, industrial revolution so the final call of industrial revolution was the effect of creating uh, created by agricultural revolution so all these are some historical background so there are uh, four different types of uh, industrial uh, revolution the first one is primary industry or first primary uh, first uh, industry revolution involving getting raw materials actually for example mining farming fishing all of these are related with a primary industrial uh, revolution okay and also the second one or secondary uh, industry involves manufacturing or focusing on manufacturing for example making a making a car a steel and so on. and so on. the third one provide a service like teaching nursing and medicine and so on and so on. and the last one or the fourth one involving raise on development uh, research and development uh, of industries like for example uh, information technologies and so on so there are different different parts of uh, in the industrial revolution and also the other one the other one is uh, here we will discuss uh, different parts or different uh, industrial revolutions for example here we will discuss first industrial revolution so the industrial revolution is described as a transition to a new manufacturing process a new manufacturing process so ir was first coiled or started in uh, 1760s during that time where this revolution began actually the beginning of the first uh, industrial revolution so the transition in the first ir or industrial revolution for example from hand production method to machine production machine production so the first main thing which are invented here is uh, creating different machines machines in order to produce different uh, outputs so the first one is from hand production to machine production machine production also 
increasing use of the steam steam power in order to uh, for for different machines okay the steam power is also introduced in the first in the first or uh, industrial revolution also the development of machine tools for different purposes for example in order to apply for different factory factory in order to produce different output so all these three main things are uh, then uh, associated with industrial revolution or of first industrial revolution so what about the second one in the second ir or also technological revolution begin sometimes in the 80s 70s the advancement in ir2 includes for example the development of methods for manufacturing interchangeable parts or creating inter interchangeable parts for mani uh, machines okay machine parts and also uh, widespread of adoption of pre-existing technologies adoption actually when we uh, define uh, emerging technology it includes both innovation and invention okay so adoption means uh, adding adding some some feature on on existing uh, technology so in this one also it added some uh, new take a new uh, feature on different machines which are invented on the first first uh, indu industrial revolution okay also uh, adoption allowed the but movement of people and ideas enhancing what communication it enhances communication moreover also a new technology system were invented in this time for example electrical power in the first in first uh, industrial revolution the power of uh, or source of uh, power is uh, steam steam mainly but here a new technology is introduced like electrical power and so on and so so what about the third one actually this one is uh, creating different uh, digital digital uh, machines also we call it digital revolution so third industrial revolution introduces the transition from mechanical and analog analog machine to digital digital so mainly this one is referred as digital revolution because it introduces different digital machine or digital uh, devices like computer uh, scanner and so on. and so on. so this one is a third one በተመረጥ ከፍ ከፍብሎ መብረር ይቻላል ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ ስህት ኩባንያ ከከፍተኛ ትምርት አግባብነት እና ጥራት ኤጀንሲ ሙሉ ቀናን ባገኘንባቸው በማስተርስ ዲግሪ MBA በስትራቴጂክ MBA ማኔጅመንት MBA በባንኪንግ እና ፋይናንስ MBA በቢዝነስ ሊደርሺፕ MBA በሪስክ እና ኢንሹራንስ MSc በኢንተርናሽናል ትሬድ እና ኢኮኖሚክስ ዘርፎች በእውቀት ለመቅረጽ ይበቁ ፕሮፌሰሮቻችን አረንጓዴ መብራታቸውን አብርተዋል በነገራችን ላይ በኬንያ ሀገር ከሚገኙ ስመጥር ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች በሚመጡ ፕሮፌሰሮች የትኩረት መስክ ትምርቶቹ መሰጣታቸው ልዩ ያደርገናል በመርጥ የትምርት ስርዓት የተገነባው ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ በመጀመሪያ ዲግሪ በአቪዬሽን ማኔጅመንት በሆቴል ማኔጅመንት በአካውንቲንግ እና ፋይናንስ በማርኬቲንግ ማኔጅመንት አስተማማኝ ትምርት ይገብዩና ራስዎንና ሀገሩን ይለውጡ አድራሻ 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስዶ መንገድ ላይ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ ስህት ኩባንያ ህልሞን አሁን ያደርጋል and uh, the fourth one the fourth one is actually uh, also uh, adds a new technology as well as adoption of technologies related with third uh, uh, ir third ir so uh, so uh, in this one for example uh, different things are introduced for example robot iot uh, and uh, additive uh, manufacturing autonomous vehicles and so on. actually this one is a fourth industrial revolution it introduces like robot uh, iot internet of things and different auto uh, autonomous vehicles okay for example in different uh, 
So, uh, the technological major DAPA, or like uh, robotics, Internet of Things, and uh, additive manufacturing and automotive, uh, autonomous vehicle, is called uh, cyber physical. Cyber physical. Cyber physical means a machine which are controlled by computer by uh, using uh, different algorithm, algorithms. So, when we uh, discuss, uh, discuss about uh, cyber physical system, which includes what? Uh, com uh, different things which are controlled by computer. Computer. Also, we need to uh, add internet and user. User of different machines, for example. So this one is called a cyber physical system, which includes, for example, the robot, Internet of Things, uh, auto autonomous vehicle, and so on. And so on. So, uh, and for, the, for example, in this, for the industrial revolution, one example that is being widely uh, practiced in industrial today is using computerized numeric control. Computerized uh, numeric control means a machine are op operated by giving it instruction using computer. Actually, when we consider any, any computer, computer is a machine which have two main parts. Two main parts. The first one is uh, computer hardware, and the second one is software. Hardware is tangible or physical part of a computer, which are, where, whereas uh, software is it, intangible, but uh, a set of instruction which instructs uh, computer hardware, for example, in order to take input, in order to produce output, in order to convert input into output, and so on. So, uh, this uh, computer numeric control means a machine which are controlled by or a computer. That means it needs what? An, an instruction. This instruction is called uh, computer software. Computer software. Another major uh, breakthrough that is associated with IR4 is the adoption of artificial intelligence or AI. AI. So the two main things related with IR4 is computer numeric control (CNC) and or introdu introduction of uh, this artificial intelligence or AI. AI. Also. Uh, by by using this AI emerging technology, actually this AI is applicable for different purposes. For example, in order to create what autonomous vehicle, autonomous vehicle, a vehicle without what without a driver, a driver, and also uh, different different uh, uh, application of artificial intelligence also introduced in this age or IR four. So the other concept which are covered in today's class is role of data, role of data for different uh, different uh, uh, technologies or different emerging technologies. Actually, nowadays data is everything. So when we define here, a data is uh, regarded as a new oil or strategical asset since we are living in the age of big data, big data and drivers or even determine the future of uh, science, technology, economy, possibly everything in our world today and tomorrow. So the role of data for emerging technology here is used for uh, as uh, input for different different purposes. Okay. So nowadays in this uh, digital age, digital age or digital data age, data is everything. So the role of data is also uh, very important even for different field of studies like uh, business, social science, health, medical science, and so on. And so, so actually, actually uh, the main Uh, so, uh, here the role of data is actually for each and every field of study, even, even uh, uh, for social science, health, medical, and so on, and so on. So, why we need data? Why we need data? As we defined before, in the previous class, data means raw material, 
okay, raw material for information, information. Or it is simply a detail about something, a detail about object, for example. So we need data in order to get different information by applying different data processing mechanism in order to enhance or in order to uh, improve your decision making process. Okay, so data is uh, everything. So for each and every emerging technologies, it needs what? A data, as input, as input. Even in order to introduce or in order to innovate a different thing, we need what? A data, data for different purposes. After that, after collecting the data, we can extract different uh, relevant information for uh, for improving the decision making process of users. So the other one, the other concept for today's class is actually a programmable device, from the programmable device and network. Network. What do you mean by uh, programmable device? Programmable device. Actually, computer is also called a programmable device. Why? Because computer needs an instruction. Because a computer is a machine which uh, in get instruction from different software. So, programmable device means we have an hardware integrated with what? Software. Software or instructed uh, by a different softwares. Software. So, in this part, we will discuss. Uh, about discuss about the different programmable devices. Also, we will see what mean by network. Actually, as we discussed before, uh, network means network means interconnection between devices. Actually, two or more devices. For example, we can consider interconnection between two mobile phones using the Bluetooth as a computer network. So the main purpose of computer networking is, or a net, network is, in order to share resource. This resource may be hardware, it may be data, or it may be information. Okay, information. For example, uh, let us assume we have uh, four computers with a single office. So we need to integrate a single printer for all users in a single office. Okay, so by creating by creating a, a computer network, we can share a single printer for multiple users. So we need a computer network, a computer network for what purpose? For sharing resources. This resource may be hardware or software, or it may be also data. Data. Actually, also it reduces what? Communication time. It reduces also. Uh, communication time and so on. So in this world, a digital electronic system, there are four main parts or four main devices within digital electronic system, including computer. The first one is memory. Actually, memory means storage, okay? For example, when we consider computer, computer, there are different types of uh, storages or memories. The first one, primary memory, including RAM, random access memory, and secondary, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, ROM, read-only memory. So what mean by RAM? Random access memory means we can access data on a random uh, storage randomly. Random, that means it is no sequential. It is no sequential. So when we consider uh, random access memory, also there is what? Sequential storage. Do you know uh, any sequential storage? Any sequ sequential storage? For example, magnetic tab. Magnetic tab is a type of what? Sequential storage, okay? Magnetic tab. Let me say cassette in the cassette. In order to store uh, sound and uh, uh, sometimes videos. Videos. So, memory means a storage in general. So each digital electronic system needs what? A memory for a storage purpose. So the, when we consider this storage, there are uh, two types of storage, primary and secondary. When we consider primary, there are what? Random access and uh, uh, 
uh, read-only memory. Read-only memory means read-only memory means a type of memory which can read data on it, but it is not possible raising data on uh, read-only memory. For example, when we consider a personal computer, there is a row, a read-only memory, in order to store different manufacturer uh, original files, including what? Manufacturer logo and so on. Logo and so on. So row means a type of storage or read-only memory. That means it can be, uh, it is possible to read data on a row, but it is not possible adding additional data on it or raising the data on it. So let's see, there are uh, two types of uh, uh, memory in computer, primary and secondary. Secondary storage is the type of storage in order to store data permanently. Permanently means we can get the data on it, whether there is electric current on a computer or not, or not, okay? So uh, for example, we can consider hard disk flash disk, CD, DVD, and so on as uh, secondary storage. Secondary storage, it is additional storage, which are relevant for adding to add a computer, to add, uh, to store data on a computer, okay? So the first, the first part of uh, computer is memory. And the second one is a processor or microprocessor. For what purpose? To, to convert input data into information or output, output. So the second main part of any digital computer system is microprocessor or in general, a processor. For example, when we consider a personal computer, we can consider CPU or central processing unit, which are different parties uh, like uh, uh, control unit, CU, our uh, arithmetic logic unit, ALU, and register, register. So this one is actually the main and expensive part of a computer is called a processor, processor. And the other one, the other one is logic, different logics to perform different functionality on a computer. And the last one is a network. Network means interconnection between computers which are found worldwide, worldwide. So these four are uh, four objectives or parts are the main part of any digital electronic system. Memory for storage purpose, processor for processing purpose, logic for performing different functionalities. And the last one, network to, to interconnect different parts of uh, computer different parts or different uh, uh, computers which are found in different parts. So uh, these are the main, the main part of uh, computer, any computer actually. So what mean by uh, programmable device? Actually programmable device usually refers to a chip that uh, incorpor incorporates different fields. Actually, there are different types of uh, programmable device like field, programmable logical device, FPGA, complex programmable logical devices, and the last one is programmable logical devices. So programmable logical device means a type of device which needs what? An instruction, an instruction, or which can store different instructions in order to perform uh, different functionalities of a computer. So there are also devices that are uh, analog, analog equipment that's called field programmable analog array. But the first three, pro uh, field programmable logical device, complex programmable logical device, and programmable logical devices are associated with uh, digital computer. But when we see analog equipment, there is a special, a special programmable device called field programmable uh, analog, array, analog array. So the main purpose, the main purpose is in order to store some instruction on it, some instruction. So why is the computer referred to as a programmable device? Why? Actually, computer is a programmable device. 
as we discussed, computer is a machine which are two major parties, computer hardware and computer software. So computer is what? Computer is a programmable device. It needs what? A program in order to uh, get different instructions, different instruction. So computer is called a programmable device which get different instruction. We call it a uh, program or software from from by using different programming languages, actually, programming language. So, computer, like laptop, uh, desktop, even uh, mobile phone are also called programmable device. So, program in general, programmable device means a device which needs what? An instruction. An instruction. Actually, a computer is a machine which needs what? An instruction. So, uh, a programmable, a programmable device is uh, a device, a device or a hardware which is need, which needs uh, different instruction to perform uh, functionalities. So computer is called also or referred as a programmable device because it needs a program or a software to perform different functionality. Here uh, there are some lists of programmable devices. Please, you can uh, see uh, on YouTube. Actually, most of programmable devices are a device which can perform different uh, or specific functionalities. Functional. So you can refer this one on YouTube in order to get that some uh, demonstration. Demonstration. Okay. So uh, a full range of network related equipment is or. In order to uh, apply a computer network, we need different hardware. Actually, actually, in order to interconnect a computer using a computer network, we need what different uh, hardware related with computer network. The first one is a traditional channel service unit or a data service unit. Actually, for communication purpose, when we see a communication channel of a computer network. There are uh, two types of uh, communication channel. The first one is called uh, uh, physical or cable based, cable based or guided transmission uh, based computer network, guided or physical or cable based. And the second one is unguided or wireless, or we can classify it as wired and wireless communication channel. Okay. So when we can consider uh, uh, wired or uh, uh, guided transmission channel. There are different types of uh, cable which can be up, uh, which can be used to uh, interconnect computers using a computer network. For example, like twisted pair cable, twisted pair cable, or coaxial cable. Coaxial cable uh, is actually mainly used for interconnecting uh, television with uh, dish. Television with dish. It is a type of cable which have a single copper copper uh, wire uh, at the middle and different uh, insulators in the upper. Okay, so also we can create a transmission transmission or guided transmission by using quadrial cable or by using what fiber optic cable. Actually, fiber optic cable is a type of cable which are made from glass. It is very uh, uh, new technology, actually, a fiber cable or fiber optic cable is a type of cable in order to interconnect computer which are found a very long distance. Also, it have a very high speed or it can uh, support a very high speed. Okay, so in order to apply computer network or network uh, related uh, application, the first thing we need is a transmission media. It may be wired or wireless. Also, we can apply wireless, wireless uh, uh, transmission media like uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, infrared signal, and so on. That means there is no uh, physical connection between, interconnection between uh, sender and receiver in, when we consider wireless communication medium, okay? Wireless communication media. But, but uh, there are different, uh, different disadvantages related with wireless, okay? 
wireless communication medium is applicable. Uh, for example, if it is difficult to install cable or if it is difficult to configure cable, we can apply a wireless communication media. But it has also low security, okay? Low security problem. That means it is not secure when we consider with uh, uh, cable-based computer network. So if it is possible, it is better to use uh, wired communication channel by applying different types of wire or cable, cable. But if it is not possible, for example, if it is difficult or impossible to, to install a cable, you can use a wireless, wireless uh, communication channel. And also, uh, when we consider distance coverage, distance coverage, wireless transmission medium can cover very short distance, very short distance, up to 100 meter distance. So when we consider with uh, uh, this uh, cable-based network, have a cable base or a wired, uh, a wired network can cover, cover long distance. So if it is possible, it is better to apply wired. If it is not, you can use what? Wireless, like Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, infrared, and so on. For example, when we consider uh, uh, Bluetooth, we can interconnect to mobile phone using Bluetooth signal. When we consider infrared, we can apply or we can interconnect television with remote control, okay? Remote control. So. Uh, these are some types of uh, communication channel in order to apply uh, computer network. The other, the other hardware required for computer network is modem. Modem, for example, in order to convert uh, signals, for example, to digital signal, to analog signal, or from analog signal to digital signal, and so on. And that, the other one is switch. Switch, for example, in order to uh, uh, interconnecting different computers using switch. It is also hardware, hardware required for applying computer network. For example, conferencing equipment like camera and so on, network appliances, and also hosting equipment and servers. Actually, uh, when we see this server, server is a special computer which can serve uh, different service for, uh, as, as, for a user, okay? A user. So a server is also a computer or a special computer which can serve. Host means a computer which asks for a service. A service. So host asking a service, whereas server serves a service. For example, in order to access data, we can first re send a request for a server. Then a given server find the data and service for or answers for a given request. So these are some some hardware required for creating a computer network. A computer network. So computer network means interconnection between different devices uh, using uh, cable or wireless technology. Wireless technology. So the other concept for today's class is actually uh, HMI or human machine interaction human machine interaction. Why we need HMI or human uh, machine interaction? As we discussed before, computer is a machine which understand what type of uh, language? Machine language. Machine language. What about human? Human understand is a human language. Yes. So we need what? Translation mechanism, which can translate human language from, for example, from English to machine language and inversely from machine language to human language. So in order to do this one, we need hardware as well as software part of a computer. For example, to, to provide an input for a computer, we need what? A keyboard, for example, for text data, uh, a microphone for audio data, and so on, and so on. So human to machine interaction means to provide input from user to computer and in order to get output from computer to user. user. In order to perform this, actually this concept is called HMI.
So why we need HMI? For example, human machine interface or interaction needs uh, different interface, interface or graphical user interface in order to support uh, user to, to insert the data. For example, let us assume uh, to, to, input, uh, to, to insert input for an account, for example, Gmail account, in order to insert uh, Gmail, in order to, to do login uh, to a Gmail account, we need what? Username and the password. To insert this data, we need what? Graphical user interface. So this graphical user interface make things too uh, easy for end user. End user. So human machine interaction means interaction between computer or machine to human being or user to provide input or in order to insert input and in order to get output from. So it makes us very efficient and easy, easy uh, to, to perform different tasks. So this one is called HMI or uh, computer human interaction or in general machine computer interaction. Okay. What is interaction uh, in human computer interaction? Actually, as we discussed before, the main, the main concept related with HMI or human computer interaction is input output process, input output process. Okay. So uh, as, as its name implies, HCI or human machine or computer interaction consists of three parties. The first one is user or most probably human being. The second one is what? Computer itself or a machine. The third one is what? Interaction. Interaction or communication between these two parties, user and uh, computer. For example, from user to computer to enter data from user by using different input devices like keyboard, microphone, and so on, and so on, uh, even the camera or digital camera, and so on. And the second one, in order to get output from computer. After processing, a computer can provide different outputs from uh, different outputs to, to end user. So when we consider uh, computer human interaction or machine computer interaction, there are three major things user or human, machine or computer, and interaction between these two parts by different, for example, by using cable and so on, and so on. So, so how, how uh, do users interact with computer? By using what? Hardware plus a software. For example, in order to insert uh, text data, it needs a keyboard hardware and some graphical user interface. And for output purpose, for example, in order to display, it needs a monitor, a monitor or display unit, and some software, and so on. So for interaction between computer and uh, uh, user, it needs a software as well as a computer hardware. Hardware, OK? So. How important is this human computer interaction? It makes us more, more user friendly by, by creating different graphical user interface. And also it increases uh, efficiency and productivity of user. Okay. Productivity of user. So the main, the main purpose of this uh, human computer interaction is making different things uh, more user friendly and also more uh, interactive with machine, with machine, okay? So it increases actually simplicity and uh, inc also increases, uh, increases uh, efficiency of user and so on, and so on. So you can create different uh, software for this purpose, for, by including different graphical user interface and so on, and so on. So, Discipline is uh, contributing a human computer interaction, for example, uh, cognitive psychologies and uh, computer sciences, also linguistics, for example, in order, for example, for uh, 
human language processing, engineering and uh, different designers. For example, we can consider AutoCAD and different softwares, artificial intelligence, uh, human, uh, human factors and so on. All these are uh, some uh, field of studies which are uh, relevant for uh, human human uh, computer interaction. Okay. So the other one uh, is here some feature feature trends uh, in uh, emerging technologies or feature emerging technologies. For example, when we consider 2019, there is also some introduction about. 5G network, like 4G, 3G, 2G, and now uh, it's, this 5G is under development, which is a very high-speed network, high-speed network, when we really uh, consider we, uh, or uh, compare with uh, 4G and uh, 5G. Also, artificial intelligence is, is also a feature of uh, emerging technologies, autonomous devices, like autonomous vehicle, autonomous uh, airplane, and so on, and so on. And also blockchain, as we discussed before, this one is related with uh, cryptocurrency, digital twins, enhanced edge, uh, computer, and uh, improved UX, so smart spaces, and so on, and so on. All these are some uh, technologies for a uh, feature, feature is okay. So uh, here, actually, uh, if you have any question, you can ask. Otherwise, uh, here we have uh, some some questions for next class. Next class, please try this one, and you can send by your um, to to my email or email me this answer of these questions. For example, list out. Uh, and describe at least top five uh, currently available in emerging technologies. Any any top five currently available in emerging technologies, and also write some notes about, for example, quantum computer or quantum computing. Actually, it is a type of computer with a very high speed, nano nano uh, certain speed, and the five G network. What mean by blockchain and augmented uh, realities, for example, for different application, and also try this one. Please try this one. Filling these uh, tables, for example, it is uh, innovator in uh, innovation and impact. For example, when we consider Alexander uh, Raman Bell, in, he invented uh, telephone. The impact of this one is allowed for instant communication and so on. So please try this one for uh, next, until next class and uh, send by uh, email. Actually, my email is here. Okay. So uh, do you have any question related with today's class? Any question? Any question? Leunet Mefter, Alamachino, Alama Kefto Dadari Mora Lebachu, the National Airways at Kubania, National Aviation College. Tratna de Rejon Yeta Beka Sultana Bemestet, Bukuzega Yafarano, Buffalite Operation, Beber Ramas Tangudo, Betiketing Na Reservation, Botil Na Tourism Welch Asaltan and Toda Rinader Gutalan, College Achen, Canada Kamidenyo, International Air Transport Association Ayatana, Kangalizu ICM Gar Bemetabar, Alama Kafukna Lo Sultana Yesate Genyal. Buffalite Operation, Beber Ramas Tangudo, Yemen Satacho Sultana, Kethiopia Civil Aviation Bada Sultan, Muluk Nal. Adrasha, Kergola Gul Tower, Hyolet Tadabai, Wadashola Bemus Domangerlai, Ye National Airways at Kubania, National Aviation College, Elmon, Uniadigan.